Today we're taking a look at the Rincon Gen 2 Smart Ring and this has a whole bunch of improvements over Gen 1 and it's also one of the best smart rings on the market right now for a lot a lot of reasons. Number one is there's no subscription fees so there's no hidden fees anywhere within the application. There's no health insights that are behind the paywall like some other smart rings out there. This is a one-time purchase only and it also is super thin and super light. One of the thinnest and lightest if not the thinnest and lightest smart ring on the market. 2 millimeters, 2 grams, so really, really light and thin. But please don't get any thinner than this. It's probably about as thin as I'm willing to wear. But this is a smart ring that you won't even notice on your finger when you're wearing it. It's just really comfortable, and I like that squircle design as well. They've definitely improved the design over Gen 1. They've, they've made it less squircle like and more kind of round-like. So if I show you these two side by side, you can see that this definitely looks more like a squircle. This looks more like a circle, just kind of flattens out on the bottom for those sensors. And while I have both of them together, you can see the difference in thickness as well. Now this smart ring will come in matte black as you see here, silver and gold. And it is IP68 water resistant, so you can swim with it, no problems with that. And it's the first smart ring to detect sleep apnea up to 90.7% accurate. You get a whole bunch of metrics like stress monitoring, sleep monitoring, health monitoring, heart rate monitoring. Now just as a side note, when it comes to activity tracking, I mainly do a lot of lifting at the gym. And when I go to the gym, I take this off. Number one, it's going to pinch my finger and I have tried it. It does pinch my finger and that's not really good when you're trying to lift some weights. And number two is, I just don't want to get it all scratched up. I think, you know, picking up weights is going to scratch up the bottom. So I generally take it off, but the minute my workout's done, go to my locker and I put this back on. But for those of you that want to track like an outdoor walk, an indoor walk, a bike ride, this is going to be able to do it. I'm going to do a follow-up video later on and show you guys some of that activity tracking. But in terms of health monitoring and health tracking, it's been definitely on point with my other devices as well. So again, this is Gen 2 and it's at a very affordable, very great price right now at about $209. Check my link down below because it will go up to $299. If you're in the market for a smart ring, last year's Rincon Gen 1 was the best smart ring of 2023. This year's Gen 2, I can tell you, is going to be the best smart ring of 2024. One of the main reasons is 10 to 12 days of battery life, and I have been getting 10 days of battery life. Really, really impressive when it comes to battery life. But let me tell you a little bit more about Gen 2. And again, check my link down below if you're interested in picking it up. Because $100 in savings is nothing that you should wait on. And when you do order it, Make sure to get the sizing kit. Size is very important when it comes to these smart rings. It needs to be comfortable. It can't be too loose where it falls off and it can't be too tight where it kind of blocks your circulation. Now inside of the box, guys, it's very simple. You get a USB charging cable, actually a really nice, really nice quality USB-C to USB-C. But the great thing about this is they actually give you a charging case, cradle, carry case, all in one. And I think every smart ring should come with this because the number one thing that I spend a lot of time doing is trying to find where I place my smart rings. And having a cradle means that when you take it off to go to the gym or when you take it off for whatever reason, just kind of put it in the cradle and you're good to go. As it's in here, it's gonna charge, it's gonna do its thing. So I really like this idea. And with 500 milliamps built into this charging case, you're gonna get multiple, multiple charges. I think you're gonna get an extra 10, 10 times charge using the battery case. So really impressive. Opening up the application, once again, this is a no subscription type of ring and that's how it should be. So to, to bring back the main points of this ring, guys, it's all new sensors on the inside. It's one of the first rings to have sleep apnea tracking. You also get a very impressive 10 to 12 days, which again, super, super impressive. And you get a really nice amount of health metrics. You get a really nice amount of health insights from their application. And what I like about this app as well is it, it's not in your face. There's not tons of notifications popping up and down telling you do this, do that. Well done. Great job. This and that. That's something that I actually don't like on any of these health devices. So Rincon is really nice. It's in the background. It does its thing. And that's about it. So my wellness balance right now is improvable. Now this is using AI, of course, and it's using all of these metrics to give you a type of score to let you know what's going on. I actually don't like that improvable. Let's see if we get anything that says not improvable. There we go, July 22nd, I became back on track. So at the top of the app, you do get a nice wellness balance and it'll let you know overall how, how your body should be feeling and whatnot. So I like seeing this wellness balance. And if you click on it, you can get an explanation about why it was good or why it was improvable. 
And that's just something that I actually really like. I like to know how I'm doing. I like to know if I need more sleep, if I need to do this or I need to do that. And you also get sleep score factors as well. So you can see why my sleep score was a 91. You can see my sleeping heart rate was really good. I mean, you guys can read all of these, these little metrics here and see, see why it said it was really good at 91. You also get your sleeping skin temperature, your sleep efficiency, your sleep stability. So a few awakenings, overall stable sleep. If you guys wake up a lot, it's gonna let you know that. And here's your activity as well. So you can see your score, so my activity score. Stress management, you can see that, why I got a 58. Here's your vital signs, just like that. So all of these metrics at the top overall equate to this wellness balance. And I think that's really good. Again, I like to see a wellness balance. I like to see an idea of how my health is going. Taking a look at some of the other health points, you get a sleep score, you get a stress score, you get an activity score, you get your heart rate. And of course, all new this time around is that sleep apnea monitoring. Now clicking on it, you're gonna be able to see explanations of why that score was obtained. And when it comes to sleeping, I think a smart ring is really the way to do it. It's just out of, out of mind. You just put it on your finger and it does its thing. With smart watches, sometimes they're a little bit heavy, they're a little bit cumbersome, and a ring is definitely not that. A ring is just kind of there, doing its thing, and that's why I really like smart rings for health tracking. It's just something that you can put on and forget about it. And that's the whole point of these, is just putting it on your finger, let it do its tracking, and if there's anything wrong, it's gonna let you know within the application. So I really like that, and, and I, I've definitely become a super fan of smart rings. And I'm also a fan when the ring lets you know when you were in bed versus when you went to sleep. I actually like to know when I fell asleep because sometimes you toss and turn and this definitely got it right. I definitely noticed that the metrics on the, on the ring con ring are really on point. You can see your sleep stages. Here's your movement. So if you move a lot, it's going to kind of let you know that, hey, you're kind of moving quite a little bit too much there. And of course, it breaks it down by your wake time, your REM, your light sleep, your deep sleep. Here's your heart rate and you can see your seven night heart rate as well. And you also get, you also get a nice insight by week or month to let you know how, how overall your trends are doing. And you can see your heart rate variation as well. And there's your blood oxygen level, as well as your skin temperature and respiratory rate. So as you can tell guys, it's really taking a lot of metrics into account when it gives you that sleep score. And I did nap, it does correctly identify when you nap versus when you sleep. So overall guys, I really like the sleep tracking on the Rincon Gen 2, and you also do get the same for steps. So you can kind of kind of see what's been going on with your steps and how long you've been standing versus sitting, if you've been active or inactive that day. So again, everything is bro broken down into a nice and easily readable format. Here's your heart rate. You can take a look at your heart rate there. You can break it down by five minutes or by 30 minutes. Blood oxygen, here's your heart rate variation as well. And here's your sleep apnea, and it's about 90.7% accurate. So that's really good for those of you that want to track this, and it does work in conjunction with your smartphone. So the two of them talk to each other and figure out if you've got, a, got something that you should consult a professional about. Clicking on trends, I actually like this tab because if, if you're someone that wants to know, like I do, how, how you've been faring throughout the week or the month, this is a really nice way to kind of take a look at it. So if we take a look at the sleep, you can see my average score was about an 82, minimum 72, maximum 91, and it breaks it down. So there we go by the month. You can see the month as well, how your score, is, how your score has been improving or, or not. Hopefully it does improve. Chances are with the Rincon, you're going to improve all of your sleep scores. So I really like this. It, it's just really nice and easily readable. And the same goes for your stress. If you want to monitor your stress by week, by month, or by year, and you also get a nice weekly breakdown. So for those of you that just want a quick read to, to say, hey, how was my week? How was my health throughout that last week? Here's your sleep analysis. So I was down 12 points from last week. And again, with AI and whatnot, it's gonna try and give you insights on how to, how to really improve some of those metrics there. There's sleep once again. There's your bedtime, when you went to sleep, all of that good stuff. Here's your heart rate, activity, steps, everything that we just went over, you're gonna get a nice breakdown, a nice easy read to, to let you know how you're doing and, and also how, to, how you can improve it. Now, lastly, what I wanna show you, of course, here's battery life, so 72% and I've got about eight days remaining. Battery life has been absolutely insane on the Rincon Gen 2. I'm super stoked about a 10-day battery life. I think this is really, really awesome. I like the five days on their Gen 1, but of course doubling that to 10 is much, much better. It's something you don't really don't have to worry about. And it takes about an hour to charge, just about an hour to charge, so really not an issue. 
And putting it in the charging case again makes it really easy. It's just something you just put in and forget about it. You don't need cables, you don't need a power plug. Put it in its case and you're good to go. And the last thing I want to go over is just, just the overall enjoyment of having some sort of badge, some sort of achievement. I know it sounds funny, but it's just something that I actually like. I, I like to see little improvements and, and Rincon has done a nice job. So you can see that I got a little badge for 100 days and 100 nights of wearing it. Optimal sleep, again, just something I actually really like. Here's my personal records of a 21,000 daily step count. So that's just a little badge. That's just something a little bit fun. Something, something extra that I like to call it. And when you buy these smart devices, you always want to get something extra. And again, there's no hidden fees. There's no subscription fees. Once again, no fees, no fees, no fees. At the starter price of 209, I'm going to tell you this is going to be a really hard smart ring to beat. Even at $299, it's super competitive in the market, and I think you're getting a lot more from the Rincon than you do other devices. Other devices out there that I have have to charge about every four and a half, five days. Other devices out there are trying to put you behind the paywall for certain insights and whatnot. But now with the Rincon, pay once and forget about it. That's what I really like. And I do get a lot of updates. I've got tons of updates on this already. I've probably gotten about three since I've had it. And on Gen 1, I got a lot of updates as well. So Rincon is standing behind their product. Rincon is definitely improving their product as time goes by. Now, if you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments below. But this is one of the most comfortable smart rings that I've worn. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video.